Welcome back to the channel, Crypto Tro. I am Crypto Tro, bringing you the latest and the greatest in cryptocurrencies. And today, man, we're going to talk about the macro environment of the crypto space. I know recently my channel pretty much been dedicated to specific cryptos. I talk about the macro sometimes, but right now in a bear market, I think I'm going to try to change it around. Just, you know, do something different. Really just talk about the bigger picture right now because everything is tanking. We looking at a possible crypto crash. Like everything is down right now. We see FTX just drop down more than 80%, man. 80% on a day. And that is like pretty much one of the biggest exchanges. I know in the US is one of the biggest exchanges out right now. And this, me personally, I think is signifying that we can see further downside coming. So we're gonna get straight into that. But before we do, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, stay tuned in. Man, even hit that notification button. We're going to continue to update you throughout this bear market because we in this together, man. We are in this together. And I believe the bottom is not in yet, but it's close to the bottom. So stay tuned. Make sure you got your bags locked and loaded. Let's get straight into it. Oh, yeah, I got to tell you this, too. This is not financial advice. This is just me personally going over what I'm doing in the crypto space. If you want financial advice, I always consult with the financial advisor before you get into anything big in the crypto space. Because right now, it's going crazy. I'm not going to lie. I'm holding all of my reserve cash to the side, just really preparing for a bigger crypto crash. So let's get into it, man. I'm not going to hold it up too much longer, but let's go, man. Let's talk about it. What's going on today? All right, so right now I'm on Coin Market Cap, and pretty much we can see. It's just a sea of red right now. So we see Bitcoin down 7% in the last 24 hours at 16,000. And then we see ETH coming in at 1.1 for one ETH, and it's down 22% on a day. And as we scroll down, we just continue to see a sea of red. BNB down 12%, XRP down 21%, Cardano down 12%, Doge down 37%, Polygon down 1%. So right now it's just a sea of red. We see Solana even has went down the past seven days this past week 56 percent man at 13 dollars who would ever think we would get you no know, Solana at 13 dollars again but i think it still can possibly go down just because like i said everything that's happening and it's one thing that i also saw was the avalanche we see avalanche is currently at 13 dollars man down 27 percent on a week so everything is down it's a sea of red and we like to um can contribute that to pretty much FTX. We know FTX had a major, major, major fall off, um, and they probably are insolvent right now. They um, pretty much a lot of people were talking about how they are trying to see if FTX were using leverage with you know clients' assets, and they pretty much leveraged the clients' assets to buy more assets with a loan, and we saw. Pretty much everything just go tank, man. Everything is in the red. So, like I said, I wouldn't necessarily be buying right now. Um, I would just have my cash on the side. We saw um, the elections, midterms just happened. Um, a lot of things out of our control, not just involved in the crypto space, but the macro economy. And then this just also looks bad for the crypto space in its entirety just because FTX was one of the biggest exchanges. Like, people don't understand. FTX is like was massive and we saw they were acquiring a lot of different companies and it just looks like FTS was a bigger player but it comes to find out everything was pretty much a fry everything was bought on leverage and now everything is tanking but I like to look at it like this from my perspective I like to say this is a good thing for the crypto space because once all the players who don't know how to necessarily manage money or use uh, client assets for leverage I believe, you know, once this happens, more the better people or people who know how to manage this money comes in and pretty much takes over the market and make products that are valuable and, you know, have utility pretty much. So let's get into that. We see FTX founder Sam Bankman-Fried removes assets are fine from Twitter. So Sam Bankman-Fried has deleted a tweet thread when he where he tried to assure customers that FTX and the asset assets on the platform were fine. So we look into, I'm not going to go into this whole entire article, but just wanted to read that headline just because 
He pretty much said the assets were fine, but he ended up going back and deleting it. And we wonder why he deleted it because the assets were never fine, man. And it's just they had so much money at the time. But once the beef or the feud between CZ, the Binance CEO, and then we see Sam Bankman fried, fried, whatever, how you say it, SBF, we saw how he pretty much was denying everything CZ was saying about how uh, SBF wasn't good for the crypto space. And CZ was pretty much um, coming back with, yes, you are trying to destroy everything crypto believes in, decentralization. Um, you're going to pretty much the feds, the police, and, you know, Congress, you're the Washington's post boy for crypto. And now I believe this is bad because now the uh, poster boy for crypto in terms of the U.S., in terms of regulation, it has now been seen that he's pretty much, I won't say a fraud, but he doesn't know how to manage the money that was given. And it shows because now we can see FTX is probably becoming insolvent. So, a lot of stuff going on in the crypto space right now, man. It's, it's very crazy in the crypto space. But I always tell people, man, just be patient because crypto is the future. I still truly wholeheartedly believe crypto is the future. But right now, you got to wash out all the bad people out of crypto. I don't necessarily say bad, but sometimes, you know, you get ambitious and do things that, you know, you believe that's right at the time, but ends up being very detrimental to the business. And I like what CZ do, is doing with Binance because he is really building out. He's not trying to do, like, the big names. He's not going out, put his name or uh, the Binance project on pretty much Front Street. He's not doing any of that. He's just working, man, putting his head down, building products, and working just like that. So just want to give you that update, man, on my thoughts about what's going on. Is the crypto crash coming soon? We don't know right now. Me personally, I'm holding my money on the sideline, just watching and seeing what's going to happen once everything hits the fan because I still believe we still have a little bit more downside to go, but only time will tell. So that's my video for today, Crypto Tro. Like I said, I'm doing a new style. I'm going to try to cover the macro economy or the macro environment of the crypto space, but also still doing my little projects. Stay tuned for the Discord um, coming very soon. I already got it up and running, but I'm just trying to, you know, see how I want to do it. But like I said, I will have the Discord link, and that is where I will be more so talking about the smaller market cap projects. But right now, I just want to look at the macro economy, macro environment of the crypto space because we are in the bear market and prices are either stagnant or going down. So that's my video, Crypto Tro. I'm out of here.